Okay, what is up there YouTube? Uh, this is J-Man Time and today I have a video on strange weapons from Ghana. Now Ghana is an African country that usually purchases most of its weapons from foreign countries, usually France or China, or in some cases the US and the UK. But believe it or not, there are actually some civilian designers in Ghana who have been coming up with their own weapon systems. Now all of the weapons in this video are all just mock-up weapons. These are very similar to the mock-up prototype tanks and aircraft that you would have seen during the second world war or join the cold war so these are not actual weapons systems they are concepts prototypes that haven't been manufactured to the fullest of their extent all the weapons in this video are from a group called the Tantaka which is a strange organization that is led by a religious leader now if you don't know there have been a lot of Christian missions or missionary groups going to Africa. And as a result of that, you have some indigenous um, Christian groups in Africa who are now collaborating with the various governments. So in Ghana, there's a group called the Kantaka, which is a Christian organization that is pretty much trying to sell their concepts, their military concepts to the Ghanaian government or to countries that fund the Ghanaian government. So let's go over some of these strange weapon prototypes and concepts designed by the Kantaka group for the Ghanaian military. And the first weapon on the list is actually a concept helicopter known as the Kantaka KTK number two. So I'm assuming there must have been a number one at some point, but I cannot find an image of it. But this is a concept or a prototype light attack helicopter that was unveiled in 2015 in the city of Accra, which is in Ghana. And this weapon system is reported to have at least one twin or single barrel 20 millimeter auto cannon two 300 to 350 millimeter guided or unguided rockets and one 60 to 70 millimeter 11 barreled rocket pod which is strangely mounted just on top of the tail section of this prototype slash mock-up attack helicopter which makes no sense because they would basically be firing this 60 millimeter rocket pod into their own helicopter plus there are three dummy helicopter dummy rockets underneath the nose section of this aircraft. The speed of this aircraft is unknown because it is just a mock-up. This is not an actual helicopter or at least not a functioning helicopter and it had a crew it is supposed to have a crew of two. Now this is actually a strange helicopter and it actually reminds me of a helicopter mock-up that I seen in Haiti way back in 2016 so this is like a year after the one from haiti was actually produced about a year after this one so these are this is a strange um kantaka ktk model 2 or number 2 mock-up or concept attack helicopter um the two unguided rockets uh, don't look practical they look like giant fireworks but yep, this is one of the prototype weapons. The next weapon system on the list is the Kantaka KTK drone car or attack car. This is basically a light armored ground attack drone that was unveiled way back in 2012. This weapon reportedly has one 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun in the top half of the vehicle, which I assume is some kind of turret. It also has a flamethrower in the same compartment and it also has some kind of rocket launching system that is based in the midsection of this vehicle. Its armor thickness would be about the five to 10 millimeters, but it might use some kind of cheap Kevlar armor like some other drones that are used today. Its speed is unknown and it has pretty much no crew. Now, this is actually one of the more interesting or more practical vehicles. Um, the flamethrower is kind of useless because flamethrowers are useless nowadays. If this vehicle was to actually go into production, it could be a cheap, you know, ground attack drone, you know, um, attack drone or vehicle drone, kind of like the ones we have in the US and in Russia and in China, but this one would be used by the Ghanaian army. But this vehicle seems to have been rejected, but every year the Kantaka company pulls this vehicle out and shows it off 
for foreign tourists in the capital of Accra. An interesting concept vehicle, but it doesn't seem like it's really going anywhere. The next vehicle on the list is a more practical um, heavy armored vehicle, and that is the Kantaka SPG, or the Kantaka self-propelled gun. And this is a prototype or mock-up wheeled artillery vehicle or lightly armored artillery vehicle that was unveiled back in 2015. This vehicle's main armament is one 122mm D30 howitzer. I believe that is a real howitzer and not a prop one. And it is also fitted with two fake or mock-up 400mm rocket launchers on the side of the vehicle. Kind of like the German Nebelwerfers were used during the Second World War. Towards the end of World War II, the German military would have their Nebelwerfers um, attached to the sides of their half tracks and some of their light armored cars and medium tanks. So this vehicle is kind of like a modern iteration of that Nebelwerfer system or ne Nebelwerfer system, but on a wheeled vehicle in the 21st century. Um, this vehicle's armor thickness is unknown, but I would estimate it to be at least 12 millimeters. And its speed is about 85 kilometers per hour or about 53 miles per hour. And its crew was only about four to six at most. Um, this vehicle is the only one that seems very practical on the list in terms of manned vehicles. So it would be nice to see the Ghanaian military or some Ghanaian arms company manufacture this vehicle, similar to what South Africa does with their MRAP type vehicles or mined resistance armored personnel carrier vehicles that are used by the South African military. The next one is the Kantaka Akara APC and this is actually a armored personnel carrier concept vehicle that was unveiled during the same time as the last vehicle in 2015. This vehicle has a main armament of what seems like two 50 caliber machine guns but it also has a number of what looks like either grenade launchers smoke launchers or could be some kind of a small rocket launching system um, the vehicle's armor is unknown most likely about five to ten millimeters maybe 12 millimeters or it could have some kind of armor slash kevlar fusion its speed is unknown and it has a crew of at least three operators plus the ability to carry at least 8 to 12 additional combat troops in the crew compartment. This vehicle also never made it past the prototype stage as I don't see any updates on this vehicle but like the last vehicle this vehicle is actually a practical concept and if you look closely the Kentucky company or organization has also designed some kind of cheap body armor or some type of heavy duty body armor for these hypothetical soldiers that would be using this vehicle or this armored personnel carrier. Next, the next concept weapon on this list is actually the strangest one, and that is the Kantaka Glitz Walker. And this is actually a walking tank or walking armored fighting vehicle that was unveiled sometime between 2015 and 2016. Its main armament seems to be some kind of a 20 millimeter Gatlin gun, or it could be a 30 caliber Gatlin gun. There's no specifics on these weapon systems. This vehicle's armor thickness is unknown. It could be anywhere from 3 to the 20 millimeters, and its speed is however fast this vehicle can move. It has a crew of at least one or two men, and this vehicle looks like, you know, if, have you ever seen that movie Robocop? It looks like a giant robot from Robocop, but with a pilot, with a human pilot, instead of it being just a drone machine like in that movie. But this is another strange concept from the Kentaka company, the Kentaka Glitz Walker. It also looks like Metal Gear. If you played the Metal Gear Solid games back in the day, it looks like the early Metal Gear concept vehicle. But, you know, as like an actual military vehicle instead of just a video game um, antagonist. And that's basically it. These were some of the strange weapons from Ghana that I've come across while, while doing research on various military weapons and equipment from Africa. 
If I had to choose, my favorite would be the, my favorites would be the Kantaka SPG with the 122 millimeter gun. And obviously this Kantaka Glitz Walker because it's like the Terminator or the Robocop or something. It has a practical or semi-practical military vehicle. Just imagine if this was actually mass produced by the Ghanaian military, it would be like, you know, Robocop or Evangelion, like, or Neon Genesis Evangelion. Or but what are your thoughts on these rare Ghanaian weapons or rare weapons from Ghana? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was a J-Man Time signing off.